What's up guys? This is Star Jake here once again with a brand new video. Here today I'm going to be showcasing some albums that I have been listening to over the past few days. The video is called A Trip Down Memory Lane because these are some albums that I used to listen to a lot back in the day, but you know, sometimes you disconnect from a few albums over the years and then you come back to the album and then you're like, why did I ever leave this to begin with? You think that it's a really stupid idea that you ever left it, and then next thing you know, you're obsessed with it again, and that's exactly what is happening right now. So the first thing I want to say before I start showing the albums, my fan is blowing right behind the camera, so if there's any kind of weird noise around the camera, that's exactly why. If you're wondering why my hair looks weird and why I'm not wearing my usual LSP hat, I just got done running outside and it's insanely hot right now, so I have the fan on and I'm not wearing a hat right now. So, yes, a little explanation before getting into the albums. The first album, and this is an album that is actually a compilation. So when I was in sixth grade, my mom bought this CD at Target. We would listen to it in the car. The most fond memories I have of this album is when we went to Miami for a cruise. We listened to this album the entire way there. And again, this is a compilation. I actually have not heard the individual albums, so I need to check those out. This is currently the only release I have heard by this band, but I definitely need to listen to more of their stuff. The band is called Three Doors Down and the album is Greatest Hits. This was one of my favorite releases back when I was in the sixth grade. We listened to this on the way to Miami. We listened to it in the car all the time. I mean, it surprised me that I never looked deeper into this band. This was the only release of theirs I had ever listened to. Still the only release I've listened to, actually. Sadly, though, we lost the original copy. This is a repress of it. As you can tell, it has the icon on the... Uh, side of the case there. So this is not the same version that we got at the store back in the day. This is one that I recently got a hold of again. That is the front of it and that is the back. This one has just some amazing tracks on it. Especially the first six tracks. Those are songs that pretty much take me back in time whenever I listen to them. This album just has some classics on it and my case is broken but that's what's on the inside of that and this is the disc although it's a simplistic design i love this design i really love it but yeah three doors down greatest hits this is something i have a lot of memories with and it's something that i recently started getting attached to again so yeah the next album and this is an actual album this is not a compilation this is a record that most of you are not going to know about it is kind of an underground album and i discovered this around the same time of the three doors down album when i was in in the sixth grade, no, 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 let me correct myself. Before the sixth grade, the summer before the sixth grade, me and my family went on a trip to the mall. We all know how much I love the mall. It's one of my favorite places. And there was this band that was performing in the middle of the mall. I had never heard of them before, never seen them before, but they sounded pretty decent. We went over and we listened to some of their songs and I ended up liking their music. My mom bought the album at the merch table and then that's how I got the album Then years later someone broke into our car and stole it and then apparently the album is very rare it's very out of print and you can't even find the CD on Google to be honest like it's not for sale anywhere even it wasn't even on Discogs until I added it a few years ago but I found a copy of this album sealed at a Goodwill 15 minutes away from us so I got the CD again it only took almost eight years of searching to get it so this is the album the album is called kickstart it is by classic addict this is a southern rock album and this is another one of those releases that brings me back in time this was one of the first albums i ever downloaded into my ipod back in the day back before i knew how to download music this was the very first thing that was ever on my iPod. My mom downloaded the album into my iPod with a computer. It's a great album. It's highly, highly underrated. Back in the day, I thought this was a much bigger band, but after doing more research, I found out this is a very underground group. They made this one album, and if you look on YouTube, there's like less than 30 views on some of the tracks. There's almost no sign of a CD release anywhere on the internet, and the, they apparently just disbanded 
disbanded after this album, so this is the only album of theirs. It's a good one. It's one that I have a lot of good memories with, and it's one I would suggest listening to if you haven't heard it yet, if you're into southern rock music. That is the cover, and that's the back of it, and it has a really cool disc design. You know, for an underground group like this, you would honestly expect it to be a little more basic, but no. Like, they have a whole lyric book, it's in a digipack, and it has a very unusual type of CD holder. The booklet goes in like this, and the disc is, there's no border around it, it's just one, it just has that in the middle. So it's literally, been, the disc is being held up by that one thing there, so cool packaging, especially for a band that didn't last very long. But yeah, Kickstart by Classic Addict. I love this album. The next one, and this is also an album that I have a pretty good story to tell with, kind of. So, a few years ago, we went to Dragon Con. Well, I want to say a few years ago, it was actually 2016. Feels like it was a few years ago, but it's much longer than I remembered. Anyway, we went to Dragon Con, and there's a band there called The Crew Shadows, which some of you may or may not know of. They are kind of known. In the music industry, a lot of people know who they are. We went to their merch table because I was trying to get something of theirs. I had never heard them before, by the way. I'd never listened to one song of theirs. I could hear their music playing on the speakers, and I was like, damn, this is some good music. I walked over to the merch table, and I was like, hey, what would you suggest I start off with? The guy at the table says, you should listen to this album. This one literally came out two days ago. A brand new album, essentially. It was, I think, $16. I bought the album, and then I walked around to possibly get autographs for it, and I managed to get three autographs, or uh, two autographs. But there's like six people in the band, so I still have yet to get all the autographs, but still pretty cool, though. This was a band I had not ever heard before, so this album completely wowed me the first time I listened to it. The album is... Astro Mythology. Absolutely love this album. This is one of the best things I've ever listened to. I want to review this album. I want to review it. I want to say so many great things about it, but this is hard to review. The music itself is so complex on this album. Like, it's just not a few instruments. Like, they have synthesizers, they have violins, they have everything in this band. And with this being said, it's kind of hard to review all the elements of the music when there's so much to talk about. The songs have stories to them, the songs are catchy. Just everything about this album is incredible. This is one of the best blind purchases I have ever made. This is also in professional packaging. Yeah, this album brings back a lot of memories of Dragon Con. Like, I still remember when this album was brand new. I remember listening to this when we were leaving Dragon Con. I remember getting to meet some of the cast behind Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I remember getting to meet some people behind SpongeBob. Not just this album, but Dragon Con generally. Dragon Con is one of my favorite places, and this album gives me some good memories of it. 2016 was a great year for Dragon Con. It was a great year for music. This album was one of the best things that it came from it brings back good memories and i would suggest listening to it if you haven't yet so that's astro mythology by the crew shadows amazing album now the next two albums are albums that are really connected with me regarding the seventh grade when i was in seventh grade i was getting into heavier music and i was already getting into that stuff when i was in sixth grade but seventh grade is when i got an ipod and started looking myself for this music one of the albums that i discovered was Believe by Disturbed. This was the first album of theirs I had ever listened to, and this became one of my favorite albums back in the day. Well, sadly, I did not listen to the entire thing back then, because back then I was still jumping around with my music taste. I was still sampling music, but I listened to most of this album back in the day. This became one of my favorites. I was listening to some of the tracks almost every day between classes. This was my introduction to Disturbed, and I gotta say, you guys should try the new single they just put out, the song Hey You. It is amazing. I have been listening to this album a lot more as of late, and it's 
This makes me wish I was still in the seventh grade, to be honest. Times were so much better back then. I love most of this album. I listened to most of it while I was in the uh, seventh grade. And recently, since I started listening to it again, I started listening to the album in its entirety. I can say this is a solid album. This is the cover to it. That is the back. I still think it's kind of funny that the parental advisory logo is right there instead of on the cover. Funny story. When I went to FYE back in the day, I was trying to find this album specifically because I really wanted it back at, back in the day, but I was not allowed to have CDs with those parental advisory logos on them because my parents didn't, you know, want me to listen to that kind of music. Then I, look, I picked this album up, and there's no bad tracks on this except for one of them, and we all know what it is. I picked this album up, and I was like, See, I can have this album. There's no parental advisory on it. Then my dad just turned it over and he was like, yeah, you can't have it. And then fast forward years later and it took me a while to get a hold of this CD, but it was worth the wait. It's a great album and one of my favorites. And that's the inside of it. Love this album. Brings back awesome memories of seventh grade. And then that brings us to the last album of this little video. I've been going alphabetically in case you guys haven't noticed because I have OCD. It has to be alphabetical or else it's going to be a problem or in some kind of list but i figured it'd go alphabetical the last one has an it starts with an s and i can tell you right now my seventh grade year would not have been as awesome as it was without this album seventh grade my parents bought me a stained album stained was a band i had never heard of back then i gave them a chance and i ended up loving their music the album that i am talking about is break the cycle Break the Cycle is a masterpiece. I love every single track on this album. I would listen to this almost everywhere that I went. I would listen to it in between classes. I would listen to it in the car. I would listen to it while I was exercising. I would jam this album everywhere. It was literally one of my favorite albums. This album actually had a funny story too. This was not the album my parents bought me, just so you guys know. The first one was actually the singles. This was a, a birthday present, if I'm not mistaken. Now, this is one of the few parental advisory albums I was allowed to have back then. I listened to this album. Most of the tracks were from break the cycle it has outside it's been a while for you and epiphany so it has a good chunk of the album on this out on this compilation so i went to fye and i was like oh break the cycle can i get this my dad picked it up and saw the parental advisory and he was like nope you can't have it then i was like are you kidding me the singles compilation has one but you bought me that album so why can't I have this one? And then after some convincing, I got him to buy me this album. This album is a masterpiece. It's a gem. It is an album that I would suggest to almost anybody. I love the themes of it. I love the instrumentation, the lyricism. Like, everything on this album is something to admire. Even the artwork for this thing's incredible. I did listen to this one a lot too, but... After hearing the songs from Break the Cycle, I went out and bought this one, and then this became my favorite Stained release. Still to this day, it's my favorite, and I've been listening to it a lot more lately. That's the front of it, and that's the back, and it has an awesome disc design. Yeah, Break the Cycle by Stained, amazing album, one of my favorites. There you have it. Trip Down Memory Lane, some of my favorite albums from back in the day, albums I used to listen to all the time. Been listening to them a whole lot more, and I'm getting attached to them again. So yeah, Greatest Hits by Three Doors Down, Kickstart by Classic Addict, Astro Mythology by The Crew Shadows, Believe by Disturbed, and Break the Cycle by Stained. So, yes. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all later. Have a great night. I hope you all enjoyed the video.